Hello, this is Sonia from my Happy Space. Welcome back at my channel. Yeah, welcome back at my Holy Week Festival. I've done a video about the Palm Sunday, which I will link you up in the chart if you're interested in doing that. I'm going to do a whole week of of um, entries. Now today I'm doing the Holy Spirit being promised um, to the disciples. It's all about the week Jesus spent in Jerusalem just before his crucifixion. And I'm using these beautiful printables from Ella Roots. Um, I will link the the printable down for you if you want. This is from a different Holy um, Spirit printable. So it has the little roses, which I'll also link down for you if you're interested in that. I've got a video also of that um, how I've done a whole booklet of the Holy Spirit. So um, it's got this beautiful sort of water paint pattern, which I want to recreate. I mean, I know it would be um, fantastic to print it on clear sticker paper and just put it on your Bible. But um, as I've said previously, you can hardly find clear sticker paper in South Africa. And if you can, it's extremely expensive. So I have to be very careful how, for what I use it. So I've decided to recreate my own background. It obviously didn't turn out as beautiful as Ella Roots because I test my, my color palette for my watercolors is very limited and I struggle to get that light baby blue. But actually at the end, I loved how it turns out. So as I said, today we are looking at the Lord is promising the Holy Spirit. And I'm journaling in John 14, verse 15 to 17. And it says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper to be with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Because it's neither sees him nor knows him. You know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. And um, that another yelper means that that another means it's exactly the same as Jesus. He doesn't say I'm going to give you another yelper, meaning also a yelper. It means he's going to be exactly like me. And we know that the Trinity is God is Jesus, Jesus is God, the Holy Spirit is Jesus, the Holy Spirit is God, it's God in us, the Holy Spirit. So the same help that Jesus was for the disciples, the Holy Spirit is for us. And that is really a comforting um, note to, um, to know. The other thing is I've listened to a very helpful sermon about the Holy Spirit. And it is basically all about the prepositions. Now prepositions is in, on top, upon, in those words. Now, when you're not a believer in Christ and you're going to accept him, the Holy Spirit is with you. And he's got one job to do in the non-believer, to convict the non-believer of sin, to let the non-believer realize that they know he needs a savior, he needs salvation, and he needs to be convicted of his unbelief in the Lord. So the Holy Spirit is with somebody. The moment you accept the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is in you and he you become a God, child of God you are sealed by the Holy Spirit because without the Holy Spirit you cannot call Abba Father and then there is a different um, aspect is when the Holy Spirit comes upon you um, that is when you really are in Powered by the Holy Spirit. That is when you see a Christian's life become dynamic and there's a difference in a Christian's life. It's not just like, oh, I believe, I'm a believer, yes, I'm fine. But when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, that is when the Lord is starting using you in a mighty way and you are bold to speak our truth, you are bold to speak to people and you truly believe the Word of God is true and that the Lord has made a difference in your life. So that is um, good to know um, about those three aspects of the Holy Spirit. So artwise, you see, I've done my watercolouring background. Um, as it got dry and as I got, put the duff on top of it, it started looking better and better to me. So yeah, there I'm just putting this beautiful duff up there. And then I'm going to recreate these words in hindsight. I sort of put first trace the words um, underneath the pipe, underneath the page so um, it would be easier. But unfortunately, with the watercolouring, you couldn't see the the words underneath the page so I had to recreate it I'm actually quite proud of myself I've without tracing it um wrote the words in this lettering so yeah I'm, I'm really trying to improve my hand lettering and uh, my my calligraphy and yeah see if I can improve that so I'm quite proud of myself how I recreated it so what I've done is I've done the journaling card which is part of this um, printable and I've put that on top there with the verses just a reminder and as you see I've done a little tag um, and I'm using this verse printable as a tuck spot 
to put my little tag in there because I want to do some journaling on there. So I'm just putting um, the beautiful dove on top of it. It's um, Yeah, the Holy Spirit reminds us of a dove because um, yeah, it's just bringing peace. And without the Holy Spirit, you cannot have the peace that's above all understanding. And that rose I've popped as a decoration just there. It's beautiful. These printables will go very, very nicely together. So here's where I've done already the, the words in pencil. So I'm just going over it. And then I'm just going to do faux calligraphy where I've um, the down strokes of the word. I'm just making it a little bit thicker so um, that it that it looks like a calligraphy. Um, unfortunately, as I said, I'm not skilled enough to do it all in one go. Definitely not on my Bible or in my Bible. I, I'm too worried that I'm going to make a mistake. Um, so yeah, I'm just going down and it works. It helps that if you go down, you, you follow the word and as you go down, you might just make it a little thicker and you color it in. I just want to read you one verse which stood out for me, which sometimes you can read over it. Often we think that the, the, the disciples received the Holy Spirit on Pentecost, but actually in John 20 verse 22, it says, and when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. So after Jesus appeared, he, um, after Jesus died, he appeared to the disciples. And then, when they re then that's when they received the Holy Spirit. But they only became powerful and powerful witnesses after the Holy Spirit came upon them at Pentecost. And the Holy Spirit was poured on top of them mostly important thing is they got they had the confidence and the boldness um to spread the gospel and speak boldly of Christ before that they were very timid um they denied Christ they fled they were scared but after the the holy spirit came upon them that's when they they got boldness to speak out in the meantime you've just seen me complete the page I'm, i used those beautiful water background paper to make this tag and I'm just putting popping a little duff on top of there with the word fitting Holy Spirit and I've done my date stamp and I've marked my verse too. So this is my finishing page. <clears throat> I hope you like it. Please join me on Friday. I'm going to do a journey about the cross. Um, I hope you enjoy the series. Please give me a like if you do and if you haven't subscribed please consider some. In the meantime I'm leaving you with some close-up photos. Have a great day. Bye-bye.